Hello, my name is Guo Yan. I am the Area Sales Manager at UWT. Today, we will say hello to our new capacitance level switch, CN7 reinvented. I am so excited to discover the scope of the redesign. Therefore, I invited our expert to give us more information. Thank you, Guyen. My name is Nicholas Oppenberger, Product Manager at UWT, and I'm also pretty excited to finally introduce our new series, our new capacitive sensors. We invested a lot of time, you from the sales department, to get the voice from the customers to what improve from the old series, and also our research and development department. They did a great job, and I think the results are pretty awesome. Yeah, before we get started, I have here the current version of our CN7 series. They already existing, so we are talking about the CN7 redesign. So can you please explain the scope of the redesign, what are the new features, and what are the differences? Of course. So, from the first glance of the sensor, it looks extremely compact. Yes. So, this is what you can see. So, we reduced the probe mm -hmm. length and we also um, now have a half an inch process connection. Mm -hmm. We have um, here more rounding, so not those sharp edges sure. for hygienic applications. And when we come to the user interface here, other side, um, the sensor now comes with a cover for mm -hmm. the potentiometer yeah. and also with a um, M12 connector. So these are the main improvements of our new sensor and I think thumbs up for the new series. Absolutely, very impressive. So what is the actual portfolio? How many options can we offer now? The complete portfolio you can see here. So this is what we can offer for our CN7 series. We have two types of compact versions. Two here. types of compact versions. Sorry to interrupt you. Why? Um, the one you can see here on the right side comes with a stainless steel process connection. Oh, yes. and the other two options here come with a plastic process connection, so complete sensor is made out of plastic here. Okay, so uh, I assume the price are a little bit different? Exactly, this is one of the points here. Okay. What I can also mention are the two different types of housing for the compact version, so we have a bigger housing and here the smaller housing, the more compact mm -hmm. one. For the third option, the tube expansion, we only have the big housing. Uh, what is the maximum length of this uh, tube extension? The maximum length is up to 4 meters here. Okay, but if we would like to have a longer measurement range, what we can choose? Then our fourth option here, the cable extension, this one is configurable up to 20 meters. Wow, then we have many choices now. Exactly. So what are the possibilities to adjust the sensor now? So for our new CN7 series, we have two possibilities to adjust the sensor. One directly at the sensor with the potentiometer mm -hmm. and the other option is via IO-Link communication. Oh, I have a link. A uh, lot of customers ask me uh, they would like to adjust the sensor via computer or notebook and sometimes remotely. Is this possible now for us? This is now possible. Yes, this is also a great feature of the new CN7. So we have our own software to configure the sensor remotely. So this is, yeah, here we have a typical setup. So we have a M12 connector to an IO Link Master and the IO Link Master is connected by a USB to our PC. Here we have our UWT IO device description, so this is the software we are using and with this software you can configure the sensor. That's exciting news! Yeah, this is really game changing for UWT.
now we already know so many features and functionalities about the sensor, so it will be great to know how it works in different materials. Can you do some live demonstration for us? Yes, of course. Let's do some live demonstration. Great. The first measurement I will test is with the material ketchup. So, as you know, ketchup is normally pretty sticky. So now I put the sensor in the ketchup and you see that the sensor switches. So the output signal switches, the white LED um, indicates that the probe is covered and the yellow LED indicates that the signal output has changed. And when I pull it back up, out of the ketchup, it indicates so that the probe is no longer covered, so the white LED switches off and also the output signal switches off. And we have a lot of build up here around the probe and can do it once again. So put it in and the sensor switches. So reliable measurement results even with sticky material and a lot of build up around the probe. The second test I will do is uh, with grape juice. Here I will demonstrate that the sensor does also indicate a material even though it doesn't touch the material. So like a measurement from the outside. So <coughs> here I go near the glass. We do not get a switch signal and if we're now reaching the material then the sensor indicates that the probe is covered, that the material is present and when I move back up then it yeah, switches off again. So this to demonstrate that the sensor does not have to get into full contact with the material but a measurement from the outside is also possible here. So this is also a great feature. Third measurement is to demonstrate the two signal outputs of our new CN7. So um, the CN7 is able to discover both or to indicate both the foam and the beer. So this is what I want to demonstrate here. So when I move in the foam, the first signal output switches so the sensor discovers the foam here in this LED and when I then enter the beer then the second, second signal output does switch to. So this is also a new and great feature of the CN7 that we can discover two types of materials. So in this case the foam and also the real beer. Thank you so much, Nicholas. Uh, we have learned so much about this new CN7 redesign. And for us, and for me as a salesperson, it's important to know what are the targeted markets? Yeah, that's a reasonable question, Guyen. Um, the sensor was mainly developed for the food and beverage industry mm -hmm. as well as for the pharmaceutical and also the chemical industry. Okay. But I'm pretty sure that you will find a lot of other industries where the sensor can be used because it's so simple to use, it mm -hmm. comes with IO Link, it has great features. So I'm sure that we will have a lot of fun with this new CN7. It's my great honor to announce that the CN7 redesign is now available on our web shop. If you still do not have an account, Please do register yourself and explore this game changer. Yeah, it really deserves it. You will find so many helpful information about our products. So we did recently new product videos and I'm pretty sure that you will have a lot of fun on our new web shop. So thank you so much for your attention. Thank you also from my side.